Well, among those enjoying their Oscars today is a 12-year-old girl and the team behind The Last Repair Shop. It's a story of an LAUSD program that restores musical instruments. NBC4's Ted Chen is live in Hollywood with more on what this means for the future of arts and music in the district. Ted. Annabelle, LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Carvajal says this win validates the school's music program and public schools. It also validates a couple with an Oscar winner, who are parents of an Oscar winner. The last repair shop. The last repair shop. In Mid-City, the cheers were even bigger than they were in Hollywood, and that's because the only thing better than being an Oscar winner is being the parents of one. I want to thank my mom and dad. The parents of Chris Bauer joyously celebrated with friends and family when the last repair shop, the story about LAUSD's musical instrument repair program, won the Oscar for documentary short. It filled my heart. You know, it's, it's um, so special seeing like so much of my family be able to see that moment all together. A family beaming just as much as 12-year-old Porsche Brinker was beaming as she strolled to the stage holding her dress and commanded the stage holding her Oscar. This is Porsche Brinker. She's 12 years old. She's learning to play violin in our public school. She looks amazing tonight. And we accept that Oscar, quite frankly, as our Oscar. No less jubilant was L.A.'s superintendent of schools who sent Brinker and her fellow students, 17-year-old Ismarai Lopez, to the Dolby Theater on a school bus rather than a limo to remind everyone that the last repair shop shows that public schools are still relevant and important. A lot of people um, saw our film, which was really nice to, see, to hear. And there's a lot of people that were really nice. Los Angeles loves its public schools, loves its students, and the last repair shop demonstrates that. And now there are two gold statues to prove it. And when I asked them what their favorite starstruck moments were last night, Bauer said it was running into Emma Stone at the Vanity Fair party. And Proudfoot says it was shaking Steven Spielberg's hand as he walked to that stage. Reporting live from Hollywood, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Carolyn and Annabelle, back to you.